Hey everybody, grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. Today's Tea Time is dedicated to Megan Good and Jonathan Majors. Those two are engaged. There was rumors going around that those two have broke up, and they came out and said, what are y'all talking about? We did not break up. They was calling BS on the rumors, and now they're really calling BS on the rumors because Megan Good was showing off her ring, and those two are engaged. Now, listen, they talk about how they met. They met at some event where there was a unisex bathroom, and they end up crossing paths. At that time, he was dating. Grace Jabari. Mm -hmm. It brings more context to that night at hand when him and Grace got into it. They got into it. Why? Because probably um, Megan Good was the one that sent the text. Grace said, let me see that phone. And then everything was on and popping from there. So it gives me a clear understanding of why Megan stood by his side throughout the trial and the whole ordeal. Because indirectly, she was the cause of the argument that night. And that's the reason why Grace went off, because she wanted to know who he was talking to. See, this is what men need to stop doing. They need to stop having crossover. What do I mean by crossover? Crossover relationships. If you're done with Diva, be done with Diva. Tell Diva that you're done and then move on with the next person. Why? Because when you don't, that's when people snap. That's when people get hurt. That's when people start to lose jobs and all of that because you should not play with someone's heart, okay? Break up with Diva and then move on to person B. Because you have a right at any given time, even if you're married, although it may be heart-wrenching to the person you are married to, if you wake up one day and be like, you know what, I'm 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 done with this. I don't I don't want this person no more. Um, this person is not the person I like, love, uh, or whatever. I fell in love with the secretary at the job. Yeah, you got a right to move on, it's jacked up. For the person you married to, especially if you got kids with them and y'all been together X, Y, Z years, but you have the right to always think about your happiness first. If you are no longer happy in, in relationship A and you want to go to relationship B, that's fine, but tell relationship A the truth. Don't be sneaking around on them. Don't be trying to figure out your new life while you still in your old life. Don't do that. Because that's when people get hurt. So let's go ahead and get into this story. But like I said, I understand why Megan Good stood around. Because she was there all along. So Megan Good is engaged to Jonathan Majors after one year dating. And she reveals her ring. He put a ring on it, people. Yes, he did. Jonathan Majors is going to be a married man. The actor and Megan Good revealed their engagement at the Ebony Power 100 Gala on Sunday evening. As the couple posed for red carpet picks, Good 43 flashed her diamond ring. She is just absolutely gorgeous. I, I really think she is so beautiful. Okay, come on, Megan. A uh, tip top shade. I love it. The actress who sparked in, sparkled in a gold gown explained the E News why they chose to share the milestone with the at, with the public at the event. Ebony Power One Hundred is the event that we met at in the bathrooms in the unisex bathrooms. She recalled when the duo first crossed paths in 2022. Major 35 was dating Grace Jabari. Mm-hmm. These two are cute together. In March 2023, Majors was arrested over an alleged assault against the dancer. Majors moved on with good amid his legal battle, battle with the pair making their romance public in May 2023. The Stomp the Yard star showed support for her partner at multiple court hearings leading up to his conviction. That was him when he was with Jace, um, Grace Jabari. Okay. In December 2023, Majors was found guilty of assault in third degree and harassment. He was subsequently sentenced to a 52 week in person domestic violence intervention program while his ex was granted an order of protection. When Majors broke his silence on the verdict in January ABC News interview, he called it a very difficult and confusing. That was Megan and Jonathan appearing in court together. Jabari has since accused him of strangling and defaming her in a bombshell lawsuit in March. Major, who was yet to adjust those claims, gushed to us weekly in June that Good is his best friend 
and makes him good. She defended their relationship during the Today Show appearance in July. Those two together, um, they're cute. They're adorable. I take everyone's opinion and advice into account. This is Megan Good speaking, for sure. But at the end of the day, I'm the one who has to live my life, Good told viewers. I want to be responsible for the choices that I make. I also want to live the life that I want to live. The cousin Skeeter alum was previously married to producer Devon Franklin from 2012 to 2022. They was married for 10 years. And listen, if you or anyone you know is affected by any of the issues raised in this story, call the National Dom Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE and SAFE is 7233 or text START to 88788. Listen, guys, I appreciate you for watching. Chat with me in the comments and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Megan Good and Jonathan Majors being engaged. Listen, I wish her well, but the last I heard, because Jonathan Majors was out of jobs and out of money, she was paying his child support. She was paying for the dogs. She was paying for their entire life. And listen, men do it all the time for ladies, all the time, right? Um, if their partner doesn't have the money, they're paying the mortgage, they're paying the light bill, they're paying the food bill, they're paying for the dogs, the cats, the whatever. They do it all the time. So is it okay when a woman has to do it? And you know what? Maybe when Jonathan Majors gets his turnaround, he will reciprocate the favor. Now, being that he was out of money, this is just Diva being curious here. Did she buy her own ring? Did she buy her own engagement ring? Or was he able to afford that? Listen, let me know your thoughts on Megan Good and Jonathan Majors being engaged. Let me know your thoughts on the fact that she probably was the one who was texting him that night that he was out with Grace Jabari, and that's what pissed Grace off. All of us have this internal instinct, but sometimes somewhere along the line, we, we came to a point where we don't even trust ourselves. And I'll say this, if you think your partner is cheating, nine times out of 10, what you're thinking is probably 100% correct. So Grace Jabari probably already got a little inkling that he was cheating on her. And then when they was in that car and they were still hanging out and she heard that phone go ping, 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 ping. She was like, yo, who's that? Is that her again? Maybe not even knowing who the her is, but just knowing that there was someone that he was messing around with at the time. I think the dirtiest thing, well, not can be the dirtiest, but one of the dirtiest, dirtiest things you can do in a relationship is be sneaking around behind your partner's back. Just tell them it's over. Be a grown-up. Anyway, guys, chat with me. I'll chat back. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you on the next video.